Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be testing out products that I bought and doing a review on them. Now, first of all, I just want to apologize for my hair. I just got back from the gym and whenever I put my hair up, it always falls out like this. So I'm sorry. I know it looks crazy. But the first thing I wanted to mention are these Ioni lashes. Now these were in the last video I showed these to you guys, but I said I wasn't going to try them on in that video. And instead I put them on for this video. So these are the natural light doll lashes and they are the 3D foam ink. They look like this. And then these are what they look like on my eyes. Now this side looks better than this side. I really didn't spend too much time trying to apply it. So I know it's not perfectly aligned to my eyes, at least on this one, but I really like these lashes. They're really pretty. So this eye looks a lot better. Um, but I have a few things I wanna say about them. So first of all, the band, let me show you guys. So this is like what the band looks like. It's it's not like super, super thin, but it's, you know, pretty decently thin for the most part. And it's not like really thick either. So I think the band's fine. But I do have to say, when you apply these lashes, make sure that you really try to apply it like right on the lash line. I mean, that's the goal all the time, but I'm really bad at that. Um, but with these lashes, it's super important to do that because the lash band is still noticeable as you guys can see. Now you can see like a gap as well. Like if I, there is a gap because I'm not perfect with applying them. Um, but I would recommend putting eyeliner on right underneath. So put the eyeliner on first before you apply the lashes, then put the lashes on. And I think it will look a lot better than the way that I did it. But I just wanted to show that to you guys. So that's all I have to say for the most part with these. The other thing I do have to say, so with the lashes themselves, um, they are like thinner lashes, which is a good thing. I think it looks more natural. But I would recommend if you want it to look a little bit fuller to put mascara on top. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and I just think it will look a little bit better and that way um, it will align with the eyes, the lashes, your own lashes better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with these and I'll show you guys that look. I just wanted to show you guys how it looked first without doing anything. But yeah, these are the lashes and then I'm gonna apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on top. I also wanted to say that these lashes um, they are longer, which is a good thing because if you have bigger eyes, you know, um, these won't be too short on you. And then if you have smaller eyes, all you have to do is cut the outer corner off. I did want to mention for these though, here's what I did. I usually don't cut off the inner corners, but there's a little bit of a band part there where there's like no lash coming out. So I cut off the part of the band where there isn't a lash coming out just in the front. And I just think it looks a little bit better that way. So I would recommend doing that for these just to like the part where there's no lashes coming out and there's like a band. Cut off that part, I would say, and then see how it fits your eyes on the outer corner. So I usually don't do those for lashes, but I did have to cut up um, just a little inner corner of the lash. So that's another thing I want to say with these. Um, I did cut off the outer corner quite a bit though. Um, I would say I took out a couple of the little pieces because my eyes are smaller. So just note they are, it is a pretty long band. I feel like Kiss is like that too, which is a good thing because there's a lot of people with bigger eyes, so they kind of need the extra band. 
Now for the mascara, I'm going to apply the mascara on top and then we're going to see if it looks a little bit better. Yes, I like it a lot better with mascara. So I would recommend applying a mascara over the lashes and I just think it will look more natural, especially with these. I do that for a lot of my lashes, not all of them, but sometimes I just think it needs the mascara and then it can kind of help it like look more aligned with your own lashes. Now you could put them underneath your eyes as well, but that one is a little bit more risky um, and you don't want to use a bad glue because it can get into your eye, which is not good, especially your cornea. So doing it underneath your lashes can be a little bit riskier. So just note that. And But that's why I put it over my lashes. And then I'm going to apply the mascara. So this eye, obviously, I did not apply very well. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah. I like these lashes a lot. Okay, I think it looks way better with adding mascara to it. So that's another thing I wanted to mention. Okay, so I did go to Target today and I got a new e.l.f. eyeliner pen. Um, this is what it looks like. By the way, guys, if you're looking for an affordable eyeliner, this is a really good way to go. e.l.f. has some amazing eyeliners, especially for the price. Now, if you want a really fine tip one, this one is perfect. So I already technically have, see, this is what it looks like. I mean, I'm. it's not going to be perfect right now, but I already applied like a, kind of like a shadow liner. So I just wanted to put it on, on top of that for you guys. really see my other eyes so I apologize yeah I know that doesn't look the best but I love this um eyeliner so if you're looking for a good it is like a pen um slash like kind of like a liquid eyeliner but it's so fine that it works better for me um so I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good one it was only like three bucks too so it's super affordable Now, I also want to say with the lashes too, I would actually, like, if you have gaps, just, like, use the liner too, like a liquid one, like this one. I'd use maybe, like, the Wet n Wild one or a thicker one because it's going to be easier to get in between the gaps. But it's another thing I wanted to say. Okay, so... Let's see. Okay, so this eyeshadow color icon. So this is one I got from Wet n Wild a while ago, but I wanted to show you guys this because this was my favorite like, quad thing to use. I guess it's not really a quad. It's There's five in here. Um, but it's called Walking on Eggshells. I had the old version of it, which I loved. But I wanted to test it out for this video. So I'm going to show you guys the colors. This was like my favorite eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. Because, okay, so these are the colors. Now the old formula I really loved. I'm not sure how this new formula is. So we're going to test it out. But I love the colors and it reminds me of the Naked Original palette. Just a couple of the colors like Virgin and Sin. That's what these like pinkish shades remind me of. And that's why I love this palette so much. 
it was like the more pink version of Virgin and Sin. Because those are a little bit more white. These are more pink. Oh, yes. Okay, I actually do love these colors. Um, I have to show them to you guys. Okay, so I'm not putting them in the correct order, so I apologize. But I love these colors. Wow, okay, I'm glad the formula looks almost the same. I was really worried about that. Like, it wasn't... Okay. Look at these colors. They're beautiful. Okay, the pink one's not showing up as well. Let me swatch it a little bit better. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that more. So pretty. I love the colors in here. Okay, but I'm going to put them on my eyes too. So we're going to go with the pink because I'm wearing pink. I'm kind of wearing like a mauve pink today. Um, you know what? I'm going to put, I already have eyeshadow on, but it's very like muted. It's the Tarte, Tarte Lid and Bloom palette, like very just natural looking. Um, oh, what did I, do? when did I spray my brush? Okay. I'm gonna apply this like light like brown shade and I'm just gonna put this in the crease for you guys I'm already have a color in the crease just so you know but it's okay because I'm just testing it out for you guys yeah I like the pigment so far I think it works really well um, you know what? I'll go in with the shimmery brown. I'm not that I usually put in brown, but just so you guys can see a little bit better. Usually I blend it better, but it's okay. It's just with the eyelashes on, it's kind of hard. Oh yes, this color is so pretty. This is just a really pretty palette. If you guys want like affordable eyeshadows, I think like the reformulated versions are really nice. These versions, I like more than the, the last version they had. Now the first version, I really love too, but these are good quality like the first version. So really love these. Okay, so I'm going to spray my brush and I'm going to put on the pink shade. I just feel like putting on pink. I'll do the most. See, it's like kind of like a white pink, like very light pink, but I love it. Okay, yes. It looks kind of funky with the liner that I have, or the fake lashes that I have on, so I apologize about that. But so far, I really like it. I'm, by the way, I'm spraying my brush with the e.l.f. doing this, just so you guys know. Like, what is she doing, but... That's what I'm doing. You see that though? I really like it. This used to be like my favorite quad to use whenever I was going to school, whenever I was in a rush. And it just reminds me so much of the Naked Original palette, just like Virgin and Sin, those colors. And even the Naked shade is kind of similar in the palette. Like this one, the brown. Beautiful. I love this palette. Okay. Next thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, okay. So I got like all these. Oh, first of all, I wanted to show you guys. I have like this little Bath and Body Works. This is my free pocket back hand sanitizer and I got the perfect autumn. So that's what I got. I'm going to put it on for you guys and smell it for you. I got like a little bit too much. I'm just like, it's like I'm inhaling alcohol because <laughs> it's so strong when you first put it on. This is really pretty. It's like kind of like a spice, like apple. It reminds me like an autumn, like apple with spices in there. It's really nice. I love it. Let me see. So this one smells really good if you want like a fall like I feel like it's very September-ish 
and it smells like apples and like spices kind of like an apple cider okay moving on I'm gonna show you guys lip liners so I got all these lip liners from the Dollar Tree but I haven't tried them on yet so we're gonna try them on first so these I can show you guys the brand these are probably like discontinued or whatever this is the Maybelline um, color sensational lip liner and it's in the shade 25 toast and I got it from the Dollar Tree so we're gonna apply it the one thing I hate about lining my lips are my lips are like asymmetrical because my face is not symmetrical I think it has to do with my anxiety, but that's one thing I hate with lip liners is I never feel like my lips look even because they're not even in general, but I do like that they make my lips look fuller because I have a really small upper lip. Okay, so so far I really like the color. I feel like this will go with like a lot of nude shades, especially like kind of like, uh, I don't know, like peachy or kind of brownish shades, like light brown. I think it would even go with like a mauve color lipstick. Um, my lips look dry and crusty, but I'm gonna put on chapstick on top. But this is the lip liner shade. I think it's really nice. Toast is a really pretty color. I really like it. Okay. I'm going to try on the next lip liner in a second. Mm. Well, I don't want these shadows to go everywhere, so I'm going to take them off too. You know, like when you swatch your arm, or, well, not everyone does that, but I don't want it to get all over my clothes, so I'm going to take it off of my Okay, that lip liner's off, so I'm gonna try the next one, but before I do, let's apply some chapstick on. So I don't look like crusty. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna try on, this is the Maybelline uh, Color Sensational one, New York. Again, I got from Dollar Tree, and this is in the shade 20 Nude. Okay, this one I really like because I think it's very similar to my natural lip color. It's like a little bit darker, but like in a good way. the color and then let me put some chapstick on top. 
because my lips are so dry and crusty and like I need to put a lipstick or something on top or like a lip gloss. This is the color, really pretty. That's um, the shade Nude 20 by Maybelline. I'm gonna put on the next one so this is the I believe this is Maybelline sensational oh no I took out the the color from the label so I apologize let's see if I put it in here nope I don't know the color so I apologize guys but this is what it looks like it's kind of like the mauvey one Okay, now I'm going to put it on. And I got this one from the Dollar Tree as well. My lips are so dry that the pencil, like, lip liners are really, like, they just tug on my lips. That's the only thing I don't love about the pencil ones. I find they're, like, kind of hard to apply. Okay, I love this color though. It's a really pretty pink. I'm mad that I don't have the Maybelline. I'm sorry about that guys, but it has this cap. So if you see a Dollar Tree, it's like the more darker pink cap. And it's really pretty. Okay, I have one more lip liner. some chapstick on okay so the last lip liner this is the Maybelline color sensational again and it's in the shade oh it's just 50 red so it's red it's like this I like having red lip liners for my red lipsticks for the holidays So far, this is the hardest one to apply. Okay, let's put on the chapstick. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Um, this one's kind of hard to apply. I think it'll be okay more like as just to line your lips. I wouldn't use it to fill in your lips because it's just feels like you're tugging and tugging. It's very much feels like a pencil. As for the rest of these, because they're all kind of very similar. Most of these, to me, they're not super comfortable because, again, they feel like pencils. 
but this one's like the most pencil-y feeling, so I'm not a huge fan of this one. The other ones are a little bit more creamy, um, so I like them more, like the nudes. The brown tone and the pink tone lipsticks are a little bit easier to work with. Um, but yeah, they're not like the most comfortable because they feel like a pencil and like you're tugging on your lips. But again, liners are kind of that way. Not all of them, but some of them, unless they're like retractable or something. But yeah, they're not like super comfortable, just so you guys know. The good thing about the pencil ones 